Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. So we have three of cups here. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have, okay, I saw the Ace of Pentacles when I was shuffling. We have the full Aquarius energy. Clarify the Three of Cups, the Six of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. Hmm. Clarify the Fool, the Nine of Swords. Hmm. <laughs> I think I know what's going on here. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Wands in reverse. See, this is some, there's somebody here. Somebody wants to come back or reunite or something like that. They they miss you. Somebody, it, it, some of you guys could be Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Somebody's about to come in and be a little bit vulnerable here because they need they want to know what's going on with you. I feel like this person wants to know if you're happy. They want to know if you're in another union. They want to kind of yeah. I feel like this somebody's curious about you. Somebody does want to reunite with you. Um, they, they're viewing you as a missed opportunity. Like they view you as somebody that's very abundant and confident and that you're very stable and all those things, or I don't know, I need to get a few more clarifiers before I say what the other take that I'm seeing on this possibly, but you guys could be either rejecting this person somebody's maybe wanting to come back together with you and some, or this is somebody that has a fear of rejection. I see that somebody wants to take a leap of faith and do something, reach out to you, offer something to you or, or try to reunite with you, reconcile, but yeah, somebody's in this energy of regret or a more morris, or they're they're losing sleep over something. Why is this person? Why is somebody in the nine of swords, the seven of pentacles? They're rethinking something. Why? Yeah, it's like they're rethinking something, or they're reevaluating something, and they're seeing something clearly, or they're seeing the truth of something. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What does this have to do with my collective? The eight of swords. Okay, what about the eight of swords? ace of swords it's like somebody's getting out of their head they were trapped in their head they're rethinking things they're looking at things differently now they're having there's somebody's getting clarity about something yeah what is this give me more clarity on what the clarity is <laughs> hopeful though what does this have to do with my collective what you want wants you making things manifest what's me for whoever this is two of pentacles this is somebody that has not been able to make up their mind they could be getting they might they're, they're about to make a decision here with the ace of swords what are they deciding in regards to my collective the king of pentacles see they want you guys to be together queen and king of pentacles here what about that the eight of wands yeah sudden change all of a sudden somebody's gonna want y'all to be together like suddenly they're gonna like why is somebody all of a sudden felt like falling in love here or like it could be that they're just they've been suppressing their emotions and then all of a sudden it's like the floodgates are open why is that some of you guys have ghosted this person or what is ghosting ace of wands what's to do with my collective the two of wands what about the two of wands somebody could have ghosted you what is, what is this ghosting energy in the two of wands what is the ghosting energy in the two of wands the queen of swords okay what about the queen of swords judgment you're like in this energy of holding somebody accountable Okay, I do feel like somebody is wanting another chance and you're not really open to this person giving you another chance. But I don't know. I'm not too sure. I kind of am with you guys on that because what what is this person's intentions for this reconciliation? The eight of pentacles. What about what is this person's intentions with this reconciliation? What's just their intentions? Forbidden though. What about forbidden? Two of cups. There's some people around them that don't approve of this connection or they're not supposed to be dealing with you. Why is that? They're working on like some type of different they know that you and this they know that the two of you guys are not compatible right now either there's like people that are trying to come between the two of you that have they have not set boundaries with or it's the fact that they know that you guys have still have really big there's a huge gap between the two of you or like there's a lot of barriers and blockages and differences like things that you're not willing to compromise with them on and it's like they still know this they know that you're not going to be okay with some of these things they're working on trying to fix those things but they're going to try to cultivate a relationship with you. Why is that? It's time. 
Oh, divine intervention. No more running. Justice. Why? Why are they doing this now? The world. What about the world? Divine. It's just. It's time. I don't know how else to put it, guys. Like Spirit says, it's time. Dark night of the soul. Knight of Swords. Hidden, hide, I told you, yeah, hiding feelings. Why are they rushing in here, though? Four of Wands, yeah, wanting a commitment, but why is that? Why are they all of a sudden rushing in wanting a commitment? Page of Cups, what about Page of Cups? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Page of Swords. Are they seeing something? What are they seeing that they don't like? Knight of Cups, they're seeing you maybe get offers, or what are they seeing that's putting them up in their head? They're trying, they're kind of making assumptions. I told you, somebody's curious about you. They want to know what you've got going on. Why you're holding back from them. Yeah, see, sexual encounter, hello. See, I don't know, y'all. What is the three of cups and the six of cups? What is the three of cups and the six of cups, spirit? What is the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups? The Knight of Pentacles. See, yeah, patient, stable love, taking things slow. What is it? It's like they want to, they're going to reunite with you, but they're going to want this at their pace. They're going to want you to, it's like almost like they want you to wait on them. How does my collective feel about that? Yep. Frozen. What about Frozen? Money focus. See, you're kind of, you've gone cold on this person. I don't feel like you have 100% let this person go and gotten over them. But they're just taking forever in a lifetime to come in and give you this Ace of Pentacles, like to actually give you something solid and stable. And you're just kind of like very closed off to this. You feel like as long as this person's being in this energy where they're dragging their feet because they're resistant to change, you're going to be focusing on your money. You're not going to keep pouring all of your love and your energy into this person. Yeah, until they get their life together, until they cut out these karmic ties or they do the inner work, until they get their shit together, until they want to open up to you and, yeah, work on their emotional issues. You're just like, you know what? I'm going to focus on my money. I got other things that I need to. Yeah, because this person is trying to keep you waiting or you're going to wait on, you know, yeah, ghosting. What's that do with my collective? Page of Swords. Yeah, what about the Page of Swords? Unawakened. Yeah. They still have lessons, lessons to learn. Like they still don't get it 100%. Divinely guided to do what? Like, you and this person are supposed to come together. This is a spiritual love. This is a spiritual connection. You and this person may, you know, it may have been fated for the two of you to come into a commitment or be married. Come into divine union, but they're not ready. What is ghosting? Ace of Wands ripped apart it's like yeah this person could have ghosted you or they acted like they didn't care right but in either their eyes or your eyes somebody is feeling like the situation is not over even if they stop talking to you even if they ghosted you they're not looking at the situation as over <sighs> why are they in this like energy though i don't get it queen of so it's because you're setting boundaries the more you set boundaries and the more you kind of like become more independent, you like, you stop being codependent on them, you start, stop letting them back in so easily, you stop falling for whatever, they're, they're sweet talking, they're finessing, all that stuff, the more you do that, the more vulnerable and weak, it's like, it's kind of killing their ego, yeah, this king of wands, it's kind of forcing them to take action here, this is a tower moment for this person, but it's like, because you're in this energy, just like, more of like this, like, receptive energy or passive energy with this person, where you're not, you're like, no, I'm gonna keep focusing on my shit, I'm not chasing you anymore, I'm going to focus on what I got to focus on, you know, things on, you know, things that matter or well, how do you know what I mean, guys? Like the things that are actually producing fruit that are getting me somewhere, like the important things, things that are poor, like that are beneficial to me or add value to my life, whatever it is. Those are the things I'm going to focus on. You're not letting this person back in so easily. So if they want you, they're going to have to work harder. But see, what is the moon? Pisces energy, the four of wands. This, has, this person has a fear of commitment or for some of you. They could be in some, what is the four of wands and the, the moon? What's the four of wands and the moon? The three of wands. Yeah, this person has, they feel like being with you in this committed relationship is like an unknown and it scares them. What's this mean for this connection? But seven of cups. So yeah, fantasy options, lots of options. They're confused, but they're going to end up making a decision because yeah, mirroring. 
sun. What's coming to light here? Lovers. Like, someone's going to be awakening to this connection. Lessons. Yeah, I told you. They have lessons that they need to learn. They're not ready. They're still very confused. <laughs> they may still not know that they 100% only want you yet. But it's like, it's, all of a sudden, this person is going to want to do this. Like, you could have been dealing with somebody that wanted to keep their options open. They were juggling you. They were not investing in you. They were not committing to you. They were acting like they didn't care. They would ghost you. And now you guys are in this energy where you're not just letting this person come in and out when they want to. You're not uh, believing their law. Like you're just, you're very guarded towards them. And it's like kind of making this person all of a sudden be like, all right, I choose you. And I'm going to go all in with this now because we're going to see why in a second. But, oh, goodness, dears. I'm going to use this guy. I don't want this one. Oh, don't use that. Mm. All right, what is going on here? Tell me more. So we have the journey. This love journey it may be long and challenging, but so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. So let's see, tell me more. So that shows me you guys have been through it with this person. Or it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be really easy for you and this person to be able to, it's, it's gonna be challenging, this connection. Or it probably already has been, but we have, there's that leap of faith that they've been afraid to, to make. Yep, they did not expect this love to, love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. Why? See, it's something that they're finding out or that they're seeing. I can't make it up. They're secretly snooping around and asking friends about you in order to see if you're dating someone new. Whatever, watching you, they're investigating. They're trying to get some type of information on you. What about, what are they trying to see? See, gossip. There's a lot of gossip. It's like they're almost trying to see if like what they've heard about you is true. Or there's just people around them that have an opinion about your their connection with you. And they're trying to see, compare like what they've seen, what they're personally observing about you versus what people are saying about your connection. This person has a hard time for some reason thinking for themselves. Tell me, what are they investigating? Anxiously waiting. This person's waiting for you. Yeah, I was kind of getting that. They kind of feel like you've just kind of disappeared on them or something like that. They search for you and everything, feel you everywhere, always in the back of their mind, hoping they run into you. What are they investigating? What are they trying to find information or what are they finding information on? I don't know, guys, whatever it is. For some of you, they're realizing that they did you wrong when I know they couldn't really see the full picture, unfortunately, before. They're having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expecting you to forgive them. So, yeah, anything else? Dark night that already came out. So it's like this person is going to be start going through the dark night of the soul or they already are. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. It's almost like, what is sending this person into the dark night? Why are they finally entering that? Beauty and grace. Divinely guided. It's like almost like this person has no choice but to change. Endings. So there was a divinely guided ending. Yeah. You're like, you're bringing out the best in this person. There's something about this ending. Says you have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. So there definitely has been or will be an ending between you and this person. But this is divinely guided. And this is going to like test your person or test you guys, teach you. It's going to help bring out the very best in you because we have beauty and grace here too. So it says they find you extremely beautiful, but your, your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. So what does that have to do with what's sending them into the dark night? See, now we have dark side. Okay, but what's sending them into like this massive upheaval? Solitude, yes. But what's sending them into this finally? Choices. Resistance. Betrayal. This person definitely had options. Or they, they kept you in competition. They juggled you. They're not telling me exactly yet. Like, why? Why is this person about to start experiencing the dark night of the soul? Is it because you disconnected from them? That's what I'm kind of getting from this. What is sending them into the dark the dark night? Yeah, they're spending a lot of time alone now. Solitude. It's giving them, they're starting to begin that clarity that I keep seeing. Divine intervention. Yeah, they're experiencing many tower. So the divine did it. They're experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. And tell me more, what's that leading to? Coming apart. Yeah, we had that coming apart. The other card that said that. This person is, their ego is dying. They're becoming more vulnerable. They're starting to come to terms with their feelings. 
they're losing, they're going through a transformation. The, the person that they were, they're no longer going to be that person. I knew this card was going to be on the back of the deck. This is what's also pushing this person to change. They, for yeah, and this. So here, let, let's just see here. Let's do, let's do this one at a time. So we have coming apart, meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Yeah, it's like they don't even resonate with who they used to be anymore. But this person is losing sleep because, and thinking that they need to do something. They need to take some type of leap of faith on you. They need to take some type of action towards you because it says their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with someone else. I told you this person, that's why they're probably spying and trying to get information. They're trying to see who, who you're with and you know who you're spending your time with and what's going on. Have you met somebody new? They were, this person could have been more focused on, see, somebody is more focused on money. Where this, this could have been this person. If they weren't choosing you, it could have been because of financial reasons. They could have chosen another person because of money. Or how do I say that? They could have chosen another person because of money or they, how do I put that? They stayed in a situation because of financial stability. I don't know. But it says they see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy, only holding them back from love. Yeah, but it's like they can't, they have like this pull that they feel towards you and it's really intense. And it says they have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving you more and more. So, <coughs> you know how like when you break up with somebody, you like, you know, if it's not somebody you were supposed to be with, you slowly get over them. It's the exact opposite for in this person's experience with you. It's like you guys are broken up, but each day they want you more. And it's just like pushing this person to feel like they need to do something. It's almost like the differences that this person sees. Maybe they have people around them that are telling you guys, telling them that you guys are just too different to make a relationship. But there's a reason why opposites attract is a is a um is a saying, right? It's almost like this person look feels like you guys are so different, and it's kind of scaring them out of like being with you 100% because they feel like you guys are so different. And I feel like they don't see how the two of you guys can be together and make something work right now. That they feel like they need to change and evolve and be like you, be like, be you or be similar to you or, you know, like kind of like um, change certain aspects about themselves to be able to be with you, which they probably do need to change some of the toxic things because we did see dark side. They do need to face those those demons that they got going on. But you and this, you you having your differences and they're, them having theirs, that is actually, that can bring a lot of, what is the word, balance into a relationship. And I don't think that they've been able to see that. The yin and the yang, you know what I mean, type thing. So we have deceit. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm lying to myself about the way I feel about you. I may act as if I don't even care, but deep down I know it's because I care too much. And that makes me very afraid. Ego driven. Mm-hmm. Acts in one's own self-interest, driven by a need to prove oneself better than others, does not truly love the person, but loves more what the person gives. Mm, what's that do with their connection with my collective? Outer turmoil. So this person could have either, they did something that was selfish. Like they acted in their own best interest. They disregarded what was, they regard, disregarded you and your feelings, right? Um, They were trying to like prove themselves to be better than you or better than others, or they could have chose somebody that didn't, they didn't even love that person, but they chose that person because that person was giving something to them. Now they're going through a lot of turmoil. Battles, arguments, and unnecessary conflicts feels their world is falling apart. Literally, physical world filled with chaos, confusion, and destruction. Wow. So because this person didn't want to come to terms with the way that they really felt about you, the fact that they loved you, the fact that they were, they couldn't, they were so fucking self-absorbed. They were trying to prove a point. They we're trying to be a user or they were trying to get continue to get something out of somebody. I don't know, guys. Now they're in they're going through karma. They're going through towers, tower moments, but it's making them realize like you don't choose people based off like what you can use them for or what you can gain from them. Like, and now they're going through a lot of turmoil. And this is they need to go through this. Yeah, we have mirroring nature. You know what this person didn't like about you? Not I wouldn't even say they didn't like about you, but what triggered them about you. It says that you're a great source of reflection and growth. And it says, so like you're showing this person. Yeah, they show you your deepest fears, insecurities, and shadows through action. Yep. You're this person's mirror. And I feel like this person just did. They didn't know how to handle it. Tell me more about mirroring nature. We have Scorpio. Some of you guys would be dealing with a Scorpio or be a Scorpio. I'm sorry for accusing you of things you didn't even do. This person projected a lot of shit onto you. So if this person ever accused you of things or just assume certain things about you. That's why that, that's how this person thinks, or that's what this, that person was doing to you. Yeah. I'm used to people hurting me. I assumed you were just trying to hurt me too. I should have treated you better. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, settling in reverse. So they're they literally chose to settle in a situation where they knew they weren't going to be happy. They knew they didn't love, genuinely love a person, but that person was giving something to them or doing something for them. I know I am not happy, but I feel I have no way out. I just can't walk away from my duties and the one I am with, even if I'm not entirely happy. Like that's, we have winter time though. What about winter? We have runner in reverse. So it says. So the time frame for winter is December 22nd through February 6th. It says, I don't know what I want, what you want from me. I love you, but I can't give you what you need. I don't have the time or the capacity to understand our connection. It's best to leave it alone. So what does that do with winter? Self-love. Learning to forgive oneself and others. Healing their inner child with shadow work. So maybe they're going to start whatever has been making them run from you. In the wintertime, they're going to start really starting. They're going to really start to face it. Learning to forgive oneself and others, healing their inner child with shadow work, recognizing the triggers that has affected them moving forward. So that's maybe when they're going to realize why they've been truly running from you. Tell me about winter. So what does this mean for my collective? Okay, so now we have fall, September 22nd through November 6th. So that's present energy. What about the fall time? Capricorn. Some of you guys could be a Capricorn. What about Capricorn? Ah! So they're going to come in with some type of small offering here soon, guys. Sometime by the end, by November 6th, you're probably going to hear from this person. I told you, you guys are in this energy where you're very work focused. It's almost like this how this person was very money and work focused. Now you're like, okay, I'm, I need to do that for my, I'm doing that for myself now because I need to. So yeah, it's like you guys are just focused on like being disciplined and driven and hard working and kind of workaholic. So be careful with that. But you're going to be in this energy where you're very like, rigid and kind of even dismissive of this person yeah like dismissing them yeah because it says i know you want more from me be careful of this person's greedy as hell because they're coming in with this small offering knowing that that you guys still have like some irreconcilable differences or some things that are just not going to work for the two of you guys being together but it says i know you want more from me but this is what i can give you at the moment i'm unsure of what i can give you and when i can give it to you but i do want to offer you something more valuable than but than before so it's like this person does want to be able to offer you it all, but they can't give it to you just yet. So yeah, they're, they're working on it guys. But I feel like this is the type of person that if you were to just take their crumbs, they would continue to give you crumbs. So that's why it's going to be very important for you to stay disciplined. So just know that sometimes this fall, this person is going to come in with some type of small offer and it says cosmic love. Disconnect it in the 5D, regardless of disconnect it in the 3D. Intense or strong feelings that they feel are everlasting, powerful, or otherwise indescribable. So you guys are going to feel this connection even if you guys are apart or broken up. They're starting to realize that these feelings are not going anywhere, especially since they're intensifying. But yeah, they're, we have had the dark night of the soul come out so many times. They're getting to that point where they're about to surrender after they go through this dark night of the soul. Yep, I'm fighting my demons. Maybe the fact that you're not going to accept this small offer is really going to send this person into like a period of tr of rapid transformation. Because I see that in the wintertime, they're really going to be in this energy of really forgiving themselves or healing or recognizing some things. So yeah, um, what was I saying? It says, I'm fighting my demons and re-examining my actions. It is life altering and also extremely painful at times. I fight against the changes, but I know it must happen for me to evolve. And we have surrender, not resisting, but going with the flow may feel mentally and physically relaxed. Letting go of judgment and being mindful of the present. So they're very close to like surrendering, surrendering here. Um, but I definitely see them coming towards you. But I feel like you're going to end up rejecting this or dismissing this. You're going to be very focused. Some of you guys have businesses. Some of you guys are self-employed. Some of you guys just have like a really good, you make a lot of money. You, you know, you're a CEO. I don't know. Something like that. I see you're going to be more focused on that right now. So this little small offering. And it's like, whatever this, this little small offering, you can, you can, Provide everything. How do I say that? You don't need this person. Like you can provide everything that you need and then some for yourself. So this person coming in with this little nothing crumb offer, you're gonna be like, what is that? You know what I mean? So especially when they still got other things that they need to sort out, which we're gonna